Okay, this is a walkthrough of this 2002 GMC Savannah cargo van. Um, starting here in the engine compartment, you can see that it's a 5.0 liter Vortec engine. Uh, the battery is dead as a doornail. Uh, you will need to bring another battery. Um, whether or not that will work, uh, there may be electrical damage. I'm not sure what happened was we, we started it and it would die. Um, just kind of all the lights would turn off all of a sudden so there, there's probably an issue with electrical so I would suggest that whoever buys this uh, trailer until you can determine whether it's uh, something more serious or not um, it was stolen and the people that stole it uh, broke into it did some damage during their uh, thievery and I'll start showing you that damage here is the uh, driver's side mirror is busted off if I look inside, you can see that we still have the mirror. There it is. Let's go ahead and come back to that in a minute. As far as the outside, um, there's a scratch here on the driver's door. A little slight indention there. Not bad. All of the uh, labels that were uh, taped on the side were scratched off with a razor blade. And in some cases, they, they dug into the paint finish. I don't know if that's noticeable to you or not. Um, it's, it doesn't really look all that bad. It just looks dirty. Uh, they were trying to avoid being detected, so they just scratched everything out. Now, the tires are in excellent shape. Uh, I'd say that's got a good 85% uh, of tread life still remaining. Uh, moving around to the back, The uh, back window has been busted out, as you can see. Uh, again, the same scratching routine. Uh, th there's some paint all the way through to the bare metal, or at least to the uh, uh, first layer of uh, primer. Um, here on the uh, passenger side, the paint has been peeled off here on that little channel. Now the back right tire, even though it holds there, it's been shredded, as you can see there. So that definitely needs to be replaced. Uh, the size of the tires is 225, 75, 16. Same routine here. You can see the scratches. Uh, hopefully you can see it. Made by the razor blades as they took off all of the uh, all of the writing that was on the side. And it happens in quite a few places. And there's a slight little ding and dent right here, and a couple scratches here on the front right fender. A uh, good tire on the front. Uh, as you can see on the front panel here, uh, the paint's been worn off. Hopefully you can, you can see that. Now let's go inside and show you what's happened inside. As you can see, it's a manual door locks well, yeah, manual door locks, manual windows. It does not have cruise control. It does have air conditioning and our AM FM radio. When they broke in, they uh, this is how they uh, overpassed not having a key. They busted out the key area. So the only way to start it is to use a couple of uh, screwdrivers. And that's how we got it turned. Um, what else inside here? Headliner in pretty good shape. Don't see any cuts or scratches to it. The uh, top of the dashboard is clean. No cracks. Front area, everything looks pretty decent up here. Oh, on the passenger side door, the, uh, the cover to the door there has been busted out. And you can see only the top half of the door cover is still present. Still happen to have it here in the back. Uh, it's just busted off. Probably needs to be totally replaced. Uh, and then the cargo area, it has a uh, rubber pad for the floor and then basically open everywhere else. And uh, seats are buckets with reclining, both the passenger and drivers. And there's no tears to either of the seats. And it's basically a, a dark gray color and with, of course, the white. And that's pretty much it. That should give you a good idea of what condition this van's in.